Hello Summoners, and welcome to another edition of the Summoner's Manual. In this video, we will go over the general use of runes and masteries, as well as applying the right ones to the correct role. By going to your Summoner profile, you can edit rune pages as well as your mastery pages. Here, you can view the runes you have purchased, and also your rune pages. You can also view your mastery pages and see what each of the masteries do. Runes are purchased only in the League of Legends store, with influence points or IP you collect after a game. There are three tiers to runes, lesser runes which you start with, runes which can be acquired at level 10, and greater runes which can be acquired at level 20. We suggest your save your IP until you reach level 20, since the greater runes are extremely costly and the lower tier runes are not as worthwhile. There are four different types of runes, red marks which are good offensive runes, yellow seals which are good defensive runes, blue glyphs, which are good magic runes, and quintessences, which are great for all-around runes. They can be used as many different things, but you only get three per page. Now for every type of rune and the bonus it gives, there are two options, a flat stat or a per-level stat. We will now go over standard rune pages for caster champions. In this case, we will build a page for Annie, the Dark Child. Annie is a great mid laner, so she will be without support and will have to be able to sustain herself in the lane. Flat mana regen seals will help her maintain her mana in the lane and let her continue to harass and farm and stay in the lane longer. Because she is a caster, flat ability power glyphs are a great choice. They will let your abilities do more damage from the beginning. Now because Annie is a bursty caster, we will need to do more damage than normal as soon as possible. Adding flat ability power quintessences will help with this. And for our marks, it's a good idea to grab Magic Penetration Marks. This will greatly increase her damage output early in the game. One hit from a Disintegrate will let your enemy know not to get too close to you, letting you be able to zone your enemies and farm up your minions. Now that we have covered runes, we will move on to Masteries. Masteries are acquired from level 1, and you will progressively be able to use more as you level up and unlock more Mastery Points, which you unlock once every level. There are three Mastery Trees, Offensive, Defensive, and Utility. Each tree will benefit the different types of champions. The most common way to use masteries is like this. For attack damage carries, you will generally see these types of masteries. 21 into offense, 0 points into defense, and 9 points into utility. The 21 points into offense will give your attack damage carry a little bit more of what that champion needs to do its job. Same with casters, but the opposite. 9 into offense, 0 into defense, and 21 into utility. The 21 in utility gives your caster more mana regen and cooldowns to cast abilities faster and help your laning in late games. Of course, there are many different ways to use masteries depending on the champions, runes, and items you build. Because there are many different ways to set your runes and masteries up, or if you would like to know more, for the sake of time, feel free to email us at gungholol at hotmail.com with the subject, runes and masteries, or ask in our thread in League of Legends forum located in the description below. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Summoner's Manual. Please remember to subscribe. You can play League of Legends for free by following the link in the description below or going to their website at www.leagueoflegends.com. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to e email us at gungholol at hotmail.com or go to our thread in the League of Legends forums in the description below.